Good morning, you guys. Happy Monday, May 30th, Memorial Day. Um, but it is also my parents' 30th wedding anniversary, so I got to give them a shout out. Uh, I love them. They mean so much to me. It's been 30 years, 35 together, but 30 since they said I do. So give them some congrats in the comments. Wish them well, all that good stuff. Uh, so whenever I knew I was going to be down here at Grandma and Granddad's for a couple days, I knew I had to do a video in my favorite spot. This is top of the world, very windy um, because I am really high up, but this is my favorite spot on property. I love to just sit up here and just look at the beauty that God has created. So my favorite spot to be on property. So let's dive right in. Today's title is, What Did You Do? I'm gonna try and block the wind a little bit, guys. Our verse comes from Nehemiah chapter nine, verse 33. It says, in all that has happened to us, you have remained righteous. You have acted faithfully while we acted wickedly. I'm gonna try and turn this way, guys, just so I can try and block the wind a little bit. It says, why is it so hard to admit when we're wrong? The Israelites were the same way. They were great about letting God know when life wasn't going their way and they wanted him to do something about it. But they weren't very honest when they messed up. The Israelites knew they'd made a lot of bad decisions in their past. They could see where they lied or worshiped other gods. When they took a really close look, they could see that they had done a lot of things wrong while God had done a lot of things right. Instead of always looking or thinking about things we want God to do, it helps to take a good look at our own lives and be honest with Him. I lied to my parents. I didn't study for that test. I wasn't nice to my brother. As we are honest, we can also be thankful that God isn't like us. He never lies. He has done good things even while we've messed up. A little honesty from us will go a long way in improving our relationship with Him and with others. So that's something that I am very conscious, con conscious, con conscious, sorry, about um, in my personal life and then also in my classroom is tell me the truth. Don't lie to me because if you're going to lie, the truth is eventually going to come out. But if you've told me lie and lie and lie and lie, am I really going to trust you much in the end? Or am I just going to say, you normally lie to me, so it's going to take a little bit to gain my trust back. I'm that way in my classroom and in my personal life. But then here's the thing. As far as a relationship with God goes, why do we try and hide stuff from God? Because he already knows when it happens. He can see all. He knows all. Trying to hide it does no good. Because God sees everything. God knows everything. He knows everything we've ever done wrong. Everything we will ever do wrong. So why hide it? Why not just fess up to it? Because whenever we hide it, that's putting sin between us and God. That's hindering our relationship with Christ. Why not just say, God, I messed up. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Help me to do better. Get this sin out of my life. Help me. I want a good relationship with you. That's what I try and do. Now, am I perfect at it? No, not by any means. But is that my goal is to just say, God, I messed up. I'm sorry. That's my goal. Because then I feel like if I can confess my sin, I'm back in right standing with God. And there's not this sin that is hindering my relationship with Him. Because whenever we continue to try and act like we didn't do something we did, that's putting a barrier between us and God. Whenever God already knows. God saw us do it. God knew we were going to do it. He already knows that we did it. So what's the point in hiding it? It's not getting us anywhere. Prayer says, Lord, forgive me for what I've done wrong and help me to value honesty. Please remind me of all that you've done right. Value honesty. Do you value honesty? 
you know, lots of people value honesty if it's being told to them. They don't want people to lie to them. They want people to tell the truth to them. But do you value honesty as far as being honest with those that you talk to? Do you value honesty when you're the one that's telling the honesty? Or do you just value it when it's coming to you, when you're the receipt on the receiving end of it? I try and value honesty both ways. Because if I expect people to be honest with me, then they should expect me to be honest with them. That's just how I work. Because I want people to be honest with me. Because like I said, lie, 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 lie. Truth. You're going to have to fight through all the lies that were told before that to get to that truth. And so then next time that they tell you something, you're going to say, is this truth or is this lie, 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 lie to get to the truth? You got to think about that. You got to think about that when you're being the deliverer of it. Because you wouldn't want someone to do that to you, so do you want to do that to them? The truth is remarkable. What the truth can do, how it can change relationships, how it can grow relationships by being honest, having an open, honest relationship with Christ will change your life. He already knows. He already knows that sin you're hiding. So just confess it to him. Just say, God, I'm sorry. I need your help. Forgive me. Everyone have a great Monday. Have a great start to your week and a great rest of your week. And of course, go be the example.